not so long ago, I made a huge fool of myself. We were sent a 3D printer from Dremel, and with that, we made a central phone, something that you can attach a phone or an action cam to and spin it around your head like a lunatic. This I did to make a short film, the link to which is on screen right now. Now, I should have probably picked maybe um, a mountain or um, a, a ski slope to film that and not a big rock outside of Marks and Spencers. However, 3D printers are a lot of fun. And we made other things like uh, a bat wing, some toys, and also uh, this, this logo. The test pit, we test things, mother f but the thing about 3D printing is that there's something very, very technical about it. It isn't an easy thing to do. We weren't able to just get that thing out of the box and start printing immediately. You had to use a computer and a little bit of design work to make something original, which is why we were really, really excited when we heard about this. This is the 3D, the three doodler, the, th the 3D oodler. They need to work on that. 3 doodler create. This is essentially a 3D printing pen that you can doodle with. So instead of just using a computer with a, a robotic arm to, I need, I, need to, I need to show you this, don't I? Hey, okay. So this is it. So it just looks like a pen, really, isn't it? It's, it's kind of cool. Uh, it does need to be plugged in, which we will do like that. And then turn it on, hang on, on. There we go. So we're gonna wait for that to warm up a little bit like um, a glue gun. And then we're going to insert Oh, this jazz here, it comes with two packs of ABS plastic. So this is similar to the kind of stuff that you would get with a 3D printer, only it's much, much thinner. Get some blue out. And it will go into the back of the doodler, allowing you to then freehand create. Now, if we are to believe um, the box, Check out this jazz going on here. This this looks really cool. Now I'm I'm assuming that I'll be able to do that straight away. Look at the peacock, the peacock. Um, so yeah, I think what I'll do. Hey, what I'm going to do is maybe some time lapse. That's getting really hot. Ooh, that's that's really hot. I'm going to um, uh, do some time lapse. Okay. <laughs> Okay, um, first effort, it is a 3D thing. Um, it's really, really tricky because it's it's still kind of liquid and whatnot. But look, I made, it's really crackling away down there. I actually made a thing. It's a thing. It's a 3D thing. And you know, it's it's solid, so it, it does work. Um, I'm gonna try something else. <laughs> introduce you to someone. This is Mr. All Gone Wrong. Oh, Mr. All Gone Wrong. Have you all gone wrong? Is all gone wrong. Okay, so it is trickier and it requires practice. So you really need to practice with this before you'll create anything like all this jazz going on here. Um, but it does work really well and it is a lot of fun. And you get left with all this kind of stuff left over, all this whatnot but the pack that we were sent anyway just come with two of these and these last quite a lot to create mr all gone wrong i think we probably oh probably used about two of those so you can buy extra packs and create bigger things but whatever you are doing with this there's no denying that it is a lot of fun so bye bye mr all gone wrong bye bye uh, i've all gone wrong i'm a i'm out of focus
Chris. Ah, oh, bye bye. Ah. Oh.